Dave Smith here again with the Prophet 12 synthesizer. We've been working really hard getting ready for production, but we thought we'd take a short break and run through a few of the features of the synth in a little bit more detail. Starting out with the oscillator section, we have four digital oscillators and a sub oscillator per voice. We went with digital oscillators for a couple simple reasons. First, we wanted the precision that you can't get out of analog oscillators, and we wanted to have more than the same old two or three wave shapes that you get on every analog synth. So we had the standard shapes like sawtooth, pulse, triangle, sine, and then we have a number of wavetable oscillators. and some noise sources. One of the other things we have different is we have something called shape mod. And what this does on some waves like pulse is it'll just change the pulse width. And you could do that of course with an LFO or So that's a standard sound, but we also do the same thing on a triangle wave. It's more subtle because triangles are a more subtle wave. Sine does something differently. Again, a more subtle change between the different sides of shape mod, but it gives you a lot of choices of timbres and modulation possibilities. With the wavetables, you could actually select three different wavetables and it'll do a fancy mix between the three. We also have AM and FM on each voice, actually on each oscillator that could be separately set. The nice thing about the digital oscillators again is that they're super precise. So if I play a couple notes, you could hear how it really locks in, but if I don't want it to lock in, I have the slot parameter. Which I could take to absurd levels. After the oscillators, they get mixed and go through the character section. What character is, is five different knobs that each do something a little bit different to modify the oscillators before they drop into the analog filters. First we have the girth knob, which just adds a little bit more low-end presence to the sound. Air does the same thing on the high end. The next two knobs are more in the destructive nature. Hack will just chop up the sound quite a bit. As will the decimation knob. So actually we have two different types of distortion. We do have the drive knob that's individual per voice. And that's more of a soft clipping. It's a little bit more gentle in general. After the character section, the signal path is 100% analog th throughout the rest of the instrument all the way out the back door. The next up is the low pass filter. After the low pass filter, we have an analog high pass filter that's fully resonant. After the filters and the VCA, we have feedback with two knobs, feedback amount and tuning. It's a tune delay line that lets you do all kinds of crazy things. I'm just going to hold a couple notes using the hold button and turn these so you get an idea.
After the feedback, we have a quad delay line with four different taps, each with its own time, amount, and feedback. You can do everything from flangers to chorus to reverb to straight delay. Or you can let it go for a long time. I've always been a sucker for delay, so this is a whole lot of fun to play with. The Prophet 12 has a huge modulation matrix. We have 16 slots. We have two extra auxiliary envelopes, three and four, that in addition to the normal envelopes for the filter and the VCA gives you a lot more control capabilities for just about everything. I should mention that we have over 100 modulation destinations inside this instrument, so almost everything in the front panel can be a target for an envelope or for an LFO, for example. And it's really easy to set up. If I hit the assign mod source switch and hit slider one, and then I hit the destination and let's say, how about feedback, and then turn the amount up, It's that easy to set up a modulation path. The LFOs, we have four per voice, and we have a couple extra features in here that we didn't on our other instruments. We have phase on the LFO. We also have slew rate. We have a new arpeggiator in the Prophet 12 with some new features. We have octave range, we have note repeats, you can insert rests, many different modes. You can go up, down, up, or down, or in assignable fashion, or it could be random. And the combination of all of these things is a lot of fun to play with. And it could be synced with the LFOs, and it could be synced with the delays, which gives you a whole new world of synchronous things that you can do. Here are some examples. Each program actually has two different parts. We call them a layer A and a layer B. And it's two completely separate programs. And this is great for when you're doing split keyboards, one sound on each side, or when you want to stack two sounds, one on top of each other, which is particularly scary on an instrument that has five oscillators per voice. We also have a playlist function that allows direct mapping of switches to programs, which is great when you're playing live. The pitch wheel range can now be set independently up and down, and it has an expanded range of up to two octaves. We also have an analog stereo distortion unit on the mix. So, I hope that helped explain some of the features of the Prophet 12. Next time we take a break, we'll do another video, so stay tuned.